Forward and aft CG will get brought up on your private pilot check ride. Here's a breakdown. With forward CG, there are four points that you need to cover. The first one's gonna be a higher stall speed, and that's because since the nose is heavier, you have to apply more back pressure in order to maintain level flight. If you have more back pressure, you're riding at a higher angle of attack, meaning you're closer to the critical angle of attack, which is also the point at which you stall. Forward CG is gonna have worse fuel economy because you're applying this back pressure, meaning you're at a higher angle of attack, which then means you have more drag on the aircraft. We describe forward CG as more stable, and because the nose is heavy, you're less likely to enter a spin because the nose will drop, reducing your angle of attack, and then building up airspeed and getting yourself out of that stall. It doesn't mean you can't spin with forward CG, it just means that it's less likely than aft CG. And the last one's gonna be a longer takeoff roll. Now, when it comes to aft CG, it's just gonna be the opposite of these. You're gonna have a lower stall speed because the angle of attack is gonna be less than forward CG. Aft CG has better fuel economy because you have a lower angle of attack, which has less less drag over the aircraft slowing you down. The aircraft is considered less stable and a greater risk of entering a spin. And then the last point is going to be a shorter takeoff rule. Follow for more.